Hi everyone, I'm Alaa Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is your band, and today we're going to break down Japanese denim by Daniel Caesar. And it sounds just like this. Alright, what I just played was the pattern for the verse and we're going to see the exact same pattern for the ending. We're in E flat for this song and we're going to start and open the song by playing E flat major. I'm playing octave E flat on my left hand and on my right I have G and B flat, so two notes. And playing that chord, I have a grace note 2 from F to G using my second finger on F and my third finger on G, like this. And also for this first E flat major, I'm going to play the chord and then break what right after that. So we start the song. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I simply played my E flat major, and then I lifted my hands up and left the space for the entire measure. Let's play that one more time. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Alright, on the second measure, starting on the fourth beat, I have this movement. Quick and short melody line played on both hands. I'm playing first a grace note from B flat to C, both hands. On my left hand, I have my third finger on B flat and my thumb on C. Right hand, I have my third finger on B flat and also thumb on C. Then, with both of my hands using both of my third fingers, I'm going to play E flat, third finger on my left hand and also third finger on my right, and then play another grace note from F to G this time. For my left hand, I have my second finger on F and then my thumb on G. And for my right, I have my fourth finger on F and my pinky on G. So this movement, I have a grace note from B flat to C. Then one E flat. And then another grace note from F to G. And then after that, I'm landing on my second chord, B flat major. That's B flat and F for my left, B flat and D for my right. And then on that same measure, on the third beat, I'm going to change the notes that I have on my right hand and play B flat, F, and B flat. And just like my first E flat major, I'm going to play the chord and then break what right after that. 
Okay, so let's play that. So B flat. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So play and break the second chord on B flat on the fourth beat of the measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Following that, I'm going to go back to my first position of B flat major. And I'm going to sneak in this quick B flat and E flat right before playing the chord. six and one okay so on the end of the fourth beat on the first measure i'm going to play b flat and e flat together i'm using my thumb and my fourth finger again one two three four five six and one right second measure on b flat major and on the fourth beat on that same measure i'm going to replay my riff my short melody line, so a grace note from B flat to C, E flat, and then grace note from F to G. Four, five, six. And now I'm landing on F minor. Octave F, A flat, and C. And just like B-flat major, I'm going to break and play a slightly different chord on the fourth beat of the measure. I'm going to add F with my fifth finger. So F up here on my right hand. So you're going to play this chord on the fourth beat of the measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play and break. Five, six. Following measure on F minor, we're going to go back to the first position, so octave F, A flat and C. I'm going to stay there, and on the fourth beat, I'm going to replay my short melody line. So, grace note from B flat to C, E flat, grace note from F to G. Then I'm gonna go to my next chord, which is A flat minor. A flat, E flat, left hand. A flat and B, B natural, on my right hand. Just like the other chords, I'm going to slightly change my chord on my right hand on the fourth beat of the measure. And here for A flat minor, I'm going to add E flat, so the fifth, with my fifth finger on the fourth beat. And for A flat minor, I'm not going to play and break. I'm going to sustain the chord after that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And unlike the others, I simply replayed my chord on my right hand. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then after that, I have my final chord for the verse: D flat seven, octave D flat, A flat, B, and F. I'm going to stay on that D flat and play this. One, two, three. Four, five, six. So I played the chord, then I replayed it on the fourth beat, and then on the fifth beat, I replayed it and break afterwards. Then we're going back to the top of the progression playing E flat major. Let's replay that D flat 7 again. 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six. And now, unlike the first E flat we've seen, we're simply going to play octave E flat, G, and B flat with no grace note from F to G. So simply play the chord, sustain it, and on the fourth beat, you're going to add this onto your right hand, play E flat with your pinky, and then break after that. One, two, three. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So play the chord for the first measure. One, two, three. Add E flat to your chord on the fourth beat. Play and break, and then go back to your first position, just like we've seen for the other chords. And then after that, on that same measure on the fourth beat, you have again your short melody line. And then from here, you simply have to repeat the progression we've seen so far. So after that, you have B flat major. Then the short melody line. Going to F minor. Short melody line again. Going to A flat minor. And the final chord we have D flat. So that's the whole pattern for the verse. So let's take it from the top. We have our first E flat major. Play and break. Don't forget the grace notes from F to G. We're gonna stay silent for the whole measure, and then on the second one, starting on the fourth beat, we have our riff. Going to our second chord, B flat major. On the fourth beat, we're going to play and break. Our second position for B flat. Like this. Then our quick B flat and E flat, going back to our first position. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one. And then again, we have our short melody line, going to F minor. Now F minor. One, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, three. On the fourth beat again, our short melody line. Going to A flat minor. One, two, three, four, five, six. One measure on that A flat minor, and then we go to D flat seven. One, two, three. Six. And now we're back on E flat major. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. One last time. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Great, that's all you need for the verse. To recap it all, let's replay it at full speed. And that's it for today's lesson guys. For the rest of the song, you can head over to musicgreatness.com. I'll teach you the chorus, bridge, and also the ending. As always guys, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another Uber.